Welcome everybody back to another exciting episode of the Black Table Tech Review. This is the boy JC. How y'all doing today? As I got before you right here, my fantastic digital PlayStation 5. And you got off you got this amazing foam lizard faceplate with the vents. You got to copy it. It really, really works. And unfortunately, they sold out of the disc edition one, so hopefully they will replenish it soon. But that's not why we're here today. We're here because this the Gr the Gragier heat pipe cooler. And these things are very hard to find for PlayStation 5. Well, not really hard to find, but it's hard to find the right one that's going to give you the best cooling and best protection for your M.2 SSD card. You got to keep that thing protected so it lasts for a long time. So it will keep, so it will perform at its best when you're downloading a game, moving the games and all that stuff. So you need protection. And this one right here looks very promising. According to the box, cooling down up to 45%. And you can see right here, you got this on um, dust cover right here with the little holes that I believe is for extra ventilation. I think that's pretty awesome. Now it's like a heat pipe. I like that right here. On the box, for PlayStation 5, aluminum heat sink, pure copper heat pipe, bam. And you usually find these inside a gaming laptop and some other laptops to help keep the, the RAMs and other things cool. So as to see this on a heat sink, I think that's pretty cool. I like that. Silicone based thermal pads. All right, let's go in the back. You see right here, you got uh, a heat pipe from copper for copper maximum performance. Heat dissipation metal dust cover, I like that. With the dust cover, you got this nice little dust cover, I think it looks cool. And you got these little holes right here, they help get some of that heat out. So you're going to get maximum performance from your SSD because it's going to stay cooler. And with this vent right here to help to keep, with this vent in the face plate to help get extra air inside, it's a win-win. What else do we got here? Reduced temperature of M.2 SSD up to 45%. Designed for PlayStation 5. Compatible with single double-sided M.2 SSD. So you can see right here, it's worked for everything. And these are these are from in some other different languages. And on the package, you got one, whatever that is, thermal, two thermal pads, one dust cover, one screwdriver, or come with a screwdriver. Oh, one SSD mounting screw, user manual, and a guaranteed card. Alright, enough talking. Let's open up this bad boy. Alright, let me get my screwdriver. Gotta get a screwdriver. Pop it open. Ah, come on. Dang. This thing is woo. This thing got some good good dog on adhesive. Put it onto the side. Let me just pull the camera down a little bit onto the black table. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for coming in. Don't forget to subscribe to help this channel grow. And I'll also like the video, share it up. I appreciate it. So this is these are the contents. Let me go down some more. Zoom in a little bit. And I like, first of all, before I get in further, like, let's look at this. The yeah, guarantee card. This looks really professional. What does it say? Blah, 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 blah. I like this so far. What does come inside the box? Oh, this is a thermal pad. It's pretty thin, but, it's, but it still feels good. It doesn't feel like one of them thin ones that's all feel like uh, a melted gum. This feels like it got some stability. How many come in there? I only see one so far. What's this? Oh, customer support, Chinese support. So you got the QR code and all that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, oh, it comes with two of them. All right. So let me go, let me show you real quick. It comes with two thermal pad. But first, this is the screw. And this is the little, um, I don't remember what it's called because I haven't done this in a long time. This inside the PlayStation 5 to keep, to help hold the SSD down. And here's another one right here. Boom, I like that. And this thing looks fantastic. Fantastic, yo, this looks nice. I like what I see so far. So, how would you take this bad boy off? I think you probably hold it from the side and pull it up. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, that's cool. I like that nice copper piping right here. This looks very, very nice. Wow, and it feels so good too. The company right here for PS5 memory expand ex what is extension. All right, so I guess I'm gonna put us put the the thermal paste right here on the top. And on the bottom, and it comes with a little screwdriver. That's a nice little touch. Do screwdriver come with a little um, protection right here. They think of everything. This company is nice. I like what they do the thing. But what impressed me the most, I like the way this um, faceplate look. This looks tight. You can see right here with the mesh and, the, and this little hole right here. So it's going to keep it cool, unlike the original that's inside PlayStation 5. But let me just go ahead and take this bad boy off. And um, give it a test. And what I'm gonna use, 
I'm going to use this um, SSD card that I have for over maybe two years. I haven't used it in a while. The Kingston KC3000. I'm just going to, I'm not going to move no games onto it. I'm just going to let it stay in the PlayStation 5 for a while and um, see if there's any difference with the temperature. But before I do that, I'm going to put it inside the PlayStation 5 first, run it for a little bit, and then use my thermal gun if I could find it. I'm going to use my thermal gun. I'm going to scan both the faceplate and the SSD card to see what the temperature is like, and then do it with the same thing with this right here to see what's the difference in temperature. All right, let's get into it. Get this bad boy in. Nice and neat. Everything is different on the new PlayStation 5. Oh crap. Everything's so different. Alright, boom, it's there. Now let's put this plate on. Alright, screw this bad boy down. And since I don't want to waste any time, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna put the face plate on. I'm just gonna keep it like this. Have it running for at least a couple minutes and then going to check the temperature and then we're going to put this new heatsink on and see if there's any difference with temperature. All right, let's do this. I'm going to make a correction to make it fair to see if it's going to really work. I'm going to keep both face plates on, which, which I think it makes more sense. And then, I, like I said, I'm going to run the PlayStation 5 for a couple minutes and then going to check the temperature on the dust on the plate and the SSD and then I'm going to do the same thing with this bad boy right here. That's the correction I'm going to make. Alright, enough talking, let's get this show on the road. For additional bonus, since I show you guys my Kingston KC3000 M.2 SSD card, it's a 500 gigabyte, and I'm just going to format it to so you guys can see how fast it is. This is just a bonus, alright? Let's go ahead and format it. And let's see what the speed on this bad boy is. You got a read speed of 6,229 MBS. And that's for the Kingston KC3000 M.2 SSD card. And it's a 500 gigabyte SSD card. Anyway, let me just get back to the testing. All right, for the moment of truth, I've been running my PS5 for, let me see. I'm running my PS5 for 14 minutes. So let's see the temperature on the faceplate. Eighty six degrees. All right, let's just screw this bad boy off. Hope I got the right screw driver. Let's see how this works. All right, let's see the temperature on the heatsink. I mean, uh, the SSD. The temperature on the SSD is one hundred. Let's give it. Let's give it one hundred degrees. All right, now we're going to put it to the now we're going to put the new heatsink to the test and see if it makes any difference. The heatsink and SSD card inside the PlayStation Five. Now I'll we'll slide the faceplate on onto this bad boy here, which I think that looks pretty cool. Then I'm going to screw this bad boy down. Put it in. Now it's in. I'm going to do the same thing to this one like I did to the previous one. With the PlayStation 5 run for a little bit, check the temperature, and then we'll end this video. Alright, for the moment of truth, let's see what we're working with right here. So for the plate cover, let's see what the temperature is. Eighty-five degrees. One degree lower than um previous. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys. I was running my PlayStation 5 for approximately 16 minutes and in the previous one with the with the original plate cover uh, I got like 86 degrees Let's just get back shoot it at the right proper spot First we get like 85. I don't even shoot in that right spot Well, yeah, it's kind of up there, but anyway, let me just check the the main important what we want to check is the SSD. It's out the way. Let me see the let me check the temperature on the heat sink. 
or the heat sink is at 92 going into 95 and the the ssd remember showing the earth in the in the first one the ssd was 100 so it's doing its job oh shoot it keep falling off let's do this right on in the 80s all right i think i got it right all right that's better that's 96 so i think the heat sink really worked because remember when, when without the heat sink inside the playstation it was at 100 and with the heat sink is at 90 what 95 96 i think this really works i like it this bad boy right here the gray, the gray gear, however you want to pronounce it, really works. And the copper piping, like I said, is very, very cool to the touch. I think this is a really fantastic heat sink. I think this is a must buy. So I'm going to use it in my next video. So anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.